Okay guys, welcome to tutorial number 10 of the Angular 2 series. Now in the previous videos, we learned about data binding, where the data, where the data flows from the component to our view. So when the component class property changes, the view was updated. Now we were only setting the values to the DOM element properties, but there was no way to get or retrieve the DOM element properties. Now, for example, there might be a situation where the user would fill up a form or click a button which results in the flow of data from the view to our component class. And this is where event binding comes into picture by helping us capture the data flow from the view to the component. So in order to understand event binding better, let's first create a button. So button that says click me okay so just like how we had square brackets for property binding for event binding we use parentheses and what goes inside parentheses any event so let's say click event of the button so every event will be assigned an event handler so whenever a click event is raised, let us call a method called onClick. And in our class over here, let's define that method. So onClick. And to keep it simple, let's just console.log button clicked. All right. Now when we save this, and go to our browser which would be reloaded we have our click me button so let's go ahead and open our console and when i click it says button clicked there's a typo so again i click it it says button clicked twice so you get the idea now in uh, angular it is very easy to reference HTML elements or HTML tags. Now to reference an element, all we need to do is use the hash symbol with any random variable. So let's say we have an input. So input type is equal to text. And to reference this, we can use the hash symbol followed by any variable you wish to use. So let's call this demo input. All right. And now in order to get the data that is flowing from this input, we can use this reference variable. So for example, let's say we pass demo input sorry demo input dot value as one of the parameters to our on click method and then we use that value over here use that value over here and then console dot log the value so when we save this and when our browser is refreshed let me enter a value so hello world and let me click on the button so it is going to log the value within this input field which we are referencing using this reference variable or demo input so that is how event binding happens so we have bound the button click event with a handler called on click and here we are going to be using a reference to this input element so demo input is the reference and by passing its value we can retrieve the value here in our class now just to show you demo input actually refers to this input field let's just pass demo input instead of demo input dot value so demo input is passed over to on click method and when the when I click, it says input type is equal to text. So this entire HTML element is the reference variable 
demo input. Now, any valid event can be specified within this parentheses. For example, let's say mouse over. So mouse over. Now, when we save it and the browser is reloaded, observe, I'm just moving my mouse over the button. I'm not even clicking it. So if I move my mouse over it, it is going to console.log the reference variable, which is nothing but the input element. And finally, to capture an event, we use the dollar event. So let's say dollar event is the parameter we are passing. Now when we refresh it over here, when I move my mouse over click me, it is going to give me the event that cost it is going to give me the event that was raised so mouse event and it is possible to access any of the properties of this particular event so to sum up event binding is going to be data flowing from the view to our class properties so here we have just used a button and to have an event we use the parentheses and we assign it an event handler now we can pass uh, we can use reference variables to access the properties of a particular html element and we can pass that on to our on uh, event handler which we can then use it in our class to manipulate or we can also pass the dollar event which is going to give us information about the particular event so that's pretty much it about event binding. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.